Good evening. Welcome to the Stock Market College virtual tutorials. Tonight I'm going to be doing a virtual tutorial on moving averages. Well, before we start, open up your Quick Charts Professional program. By now, you should know what where that is. It's the blue icon on your desktop. You double click on that, and you open up the application. Right. Let's go and select a stock. I'm going to go and select bulletin, so B I L. Let's see, there we have bulletin. Opening it up, maximizing it. Now, the defaults in this program are 7, 14, and 21. And the reason for that is because they, <coughs> they are a very commonly used set of. Uh, moving averages globally and uh, the reason why they have a good uh, sort of uh, relationship is because the smaller the moving average the more aggressive the signal and sh shorter moving averages pick up um, penny stocks and ch more cheaply priced shares and more aggressive movements uh, more easily than um, the bigger moving average is the um, heavier weighted moving average but then the heavier weighted moving average often works better on a on a trending share, share that has a more gradual movement like your blue chips etc that's why you'll find fund managers uh, tend to want to use uh, 21 and 50 day moving averages for their top 40 blue chip stocks they catch those sort of uh, trending movements nicely whereas on the trade stocks these are the ones that have a lot of volatility a lot of up and down a lot of um, uh, sort of whiplash and type movements often the smaller moving averages picked it up nicely but with the 7 14 21 7 being aggressive this is uh, the the green moving average let's just go look at six months here okay six months chart bulletin uh, seven days the green that's this moving average over here alright 14 is the purple and red is the 21 now the green one would be deemed to be aggressive 14 intermediary and 21 in comparison is conservative on a longer time frame traders use 21 and then they use a 50 but why I like this is because if there are some intermediary trends like you see over here the 7 and 14 pick it up really nicely the 21 being the red line you can see is a much smoother trend and that it would be more aggressive than a 50 day moving average obviously if you see the 21 picking up a trend you can then go into your toolbox and then go and change your moving averages to, to a 50 to see uh, if it is more of a, of a trend than a trade share and where you would change your moving averages you click on the little toolbox over there you see there your moving averages and you just um, can adjust them over there however you'd like to just double click change the moving average okay now let's go back to the chart you just close this box down alright let's have a look at this let's first look at this downtrend and then let's look at the uptrend when the share price which is this blue line moves down you see it cuts through the 7 first that would be an indication to sell on an aggressive signal on the purple 20, uh, 14 days is intermediary signal and below the 21 is a conservative obviously the longer you wait the less you are getting for your share because it's losing value over there if we click spacebar select your walking line you can see moving average 1, 2 and 3 at that point moving average 1, 7 day was at 2, 31, 34 14 was at 2, 27, 21 and the 21 was at 2, 22 so that's almost an, uh, a 9 range difference between waiting to get out on the 7 versus the 21 likewise for a buy you'll buy when the um, price crosses up through the 7, the 14 or the 21 some traders will will enter trades on the actual price breaching the moving averages 
and others will wait for the moving average to actually cross like this okay for the seven to cross above um, the other moving averages likewise on the converse of a year where you had the uh, move, uh, moving average crossing uh, down would be a confirmation of a sell but you can see it crosses up here much higher than on the actual EMA cross so it's you know it's up to you as a trader are you going to go on a breach of the EMAs or on an actual cross or you scale out here and then you scale the rest out over there but on bulletin on this long you can see that uh, the price eventually broke above all three moving averages and um, you can see that it crosses up through the through the, through the 7 first then the 14 then the 21 and now it's trended nicely above the moving averages at this point here okay on the 19th of October you can see that bulletin price actually crossed down below the seven day moving average now some traders may have even have sold there but you can see it didn't go below the 14 or the 21 that's where that that uh, relationship can assist you in, in in staying in the trend because you know the trend can be strong enough to breach the seven but not necessarily go through the 14 and you can see that the, the 14 day kept you in the in the trend you would then go look at other indicators like your MACD your RSI your stochastic at a point like this in the in the trade and see how strong is that reversal and you will find more often than not that the other indicators would have kept you in the trade but um this is how we we look at moving averages so we use them um, and yeah use them wisely play around with permutations 3 and 8 21 and 50 7 14 21 is standard um, see what works you know on certain stocks certain moving averages are gonna are gonna work better uh, but just go into your into your toolbar and play around with the settings and um, see what works Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll, I'll be carrying on in the next VT, probably with the uh, RSI. See you soon.